Hello, everybody. Nice to be here. This is Akib. I am entrepreneur, investor, and advisor to several startup and SaaS companies. Also, I co-founded uh, Cloudways, which is lately uh, acquired by DigitalOcean. Super excited by the opportunity uh, for our customers, our people, and most importantly, for our mission to, to help SMBs chase their dreams and to really revolutionize the SMB cloud space. I will start with a quick intro video. That intro video has some, some example customers uh, just to demonstrate our passion and vision around the space. And as we proceed, I will also cover some real examples of our customers. So here we go with the, with the video. One second, sorry. Here we go. It started out as a simple idea. Managed cloud hosting for small and medium businesses looking to build a modern online presence. Now we're partnering with entrepreneurs all over the world to give them easy access to the cloud so they can grow their business with improved productivity and peace of mind. They love our ease of use, flexible packages, simple pricing, and 24 seven customer support. And we love seeing our partners grow year after year. So when people want to dream big, they can dream with Cloudways. Cloudways, welcome to the cloud. All right. So Cloudways, as you guys, many of you know, it's a multi-cloud managed application hosting platform for small and medium businesses. So they can focus on uh, what they do best without worrying about infrastructure and application management hassles and really focus on growing their business with peace of mind and improved productivity. We are a high growth business with a global customer base of 76,000 active customers and growing pretty fast. As we speak, it's already 78,000. We have a best in class customer experience standard, which we are really proud of that is consistently over 70 plus NPS and 95 plus uh, customer satisfaction on a consistent basis. And then very recently, uh, G2 also awarded Cloudways as the number one hosting provider, SMB hosting provider. So there are a couple of workloads that are pretty famous with us. Of course, broadly, we offer uh, uh, any, any workload that is compatible with our open source stack, but WordPress and WooCommerce are most uh, kind of like popular with our customer base. If we, if we talk to our ideal customers, that's pretty interesting, basically. They, they don't say that they are hosting their websites on top of Cloudways. They say that they host their dreams. And Cloudways is not just another partner, but, uh, but not just another vendor, but a partner in, in driving their success. And, and uh, if, we, if we kind of like, uh, if, we, if we think of it, just, just give me a second, just, just a second with the kid there. Yeah, sorry about that. So we we are we are like uh, more or less a partner in their in their success. And uh, if you if you if you think of it as as a SMB, I mean, you generally uh, the SMBs love simplicity, predictability, support, and affordability with great customer experience. But they don't have the resources, or they don't have the affordable. They don't have the budget to do that. But at the same time, they want to grow and they want to be rich, right? And uh, they want to they want to grow their business. And this is where we are the part of their story by simplifying and democratizing access to premium cloud services with deep application support and amazing price. So really, I mean, if you step back, customers they want <clears throat> SMBs. They are highly underserved. They want to grow, they want to chase their dreams, but they are not the resourceful like enterprises. But at the same time, 
they want to grow their business. And that's where we come in to really kind of shape their uh, future and, and help them grow their business in the long term. And how we do that, basically, there are there are like three parts of it, which is which is very important to understand. The first part is that there are providers in the market which offers like uh, very, uh, I would say, flexible and highly granular platform. They offer really flexible and granular platform. And then there are providers who offer a pretty managed experience or, or, or so to say, they are like a closed platform. So there are providers who are offering flexibility and there are providers who are offering like a closed platform, but our customers need, and, and when they offer the closed platform, basically they are offering simplicity. So there are providers offering simplicity, there are providers offering flexibility, but our customers need best of the both worlds. And that's where the huge gap is, right? Uh, they don't want either simple or uh, flexible. They, they need both best of the both worlds. And also the providers that are offering flexible solutions or the ones that are offering uh, like simple solutions, they are hell expensive, especially for the big and busy websites, which we are going to cover shortly. What we want is basically, what we are delivering basically is best of the both worlds, right? So we are offering flexibility and, con and control without losing convenience. So we are meeting uh, best of the both worlds and we are offering that with, uh, the most affordable, uh, in a most affordable manner. So it's incredibly difficult in the market to find a provider that is offering the flexibility and control that is offering the simplicity that you want at a price that is incredibly unmatchable. So we are proud to offer that that killing combo or best price to best price to performance ratio, this flexibility, and this great customer experience. And, and that's how we kind of like help uh, SMBs uh, uh, get access to the premium cloud services. And that's how we democratize the access to, to the premium services with deep application support, which is part of our uh, kind of like great customer experience, uh, 24 by seven uh, deep application support at an amazing price. So that's, that's a package that's hard to kind of like uh, find control without losing convenience and, and great uh, at, at all, at, all at a great price. So let's go a bit deeper and understand, I mean, uh, before, we, before we kind of like geek out a bit, let's step back uh, a little bit and uh, understand what we are optimizing for here, uh, what exactly we are optimizing for. It's, we are optimizing for big and busy websites. We are not optimizing for just like, uh, uh, like you know, brochure sites with hardly five visits per day. We are really optimizing for customers who mean business, and and we internally call it big and busy websites. So let's let's try to dig deeper into what does what does this big and busy means, and really big and busy means that if your site is not up and running with peak performance, there are financial and reputational implications, and this site has heavy traffic, uh, it has a lot of uh, growth coming in. There's a lot there are a lot of changes and experiments that are happening over the period of time. Uh, maybe marketing or developers or project managers or whoever, they are making a lot of changes on the site to do uh, rigorous experiments, basically, and to make sure that uh, we, we are optimizing for, for growth through those experiments. Because websites in our kind of like what we discuss internally, it's like a living organism. It's not there for just a static kind of an asset. It's like a human being. It, it, it grows, it evolves over the period of time. And our job is, our platform job is that we are not a blocker sort of in their growth, but we are an enabler and facilitator. So whatever we do, it's important to understand that we are basically optimizing that for uh, uh, this big and busy kind of scenario. Now, when it comes to big and busy scenario, what exactly we are solving for, or what do we mean when we say turbocharge the web presence uh, for our customers? Basically, there are six macro problems that we solve for our customers, six macro problems. And it's important to understand uh, the depth and kind of like context of all these uh, six macro problems as we as we continue the conversation. The first and the foremost most important is high performance and reliability. Basically, your site or your web presence should be always up and running with peak performance. It never goes down, and the end user has a seamless user experience. And what it basically requires is to really understand the end user experience 
uh, and then backtrack that to the origin infrastructure or origin server. And, and I think there are several pieces in between that that needs to be tied together and weave beautifully to for an, for, for an amazing customer experience. I think uh, there are some, some components that we have mentioned here are, are worth mentioning. For example, infrastructure and stack, high performance infrastructure and stack. That's that's like the the almost the backbone of the high performance uh, 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 that we discussed. And the second is really this best practices and continuous optimization of the infrastructure itself, the operating system, and at the application uh, layer. I mean, some very basic and common examples will be, how do we manage WP Cron efficiently and smartly, right? Very basic example. Second will be, how do we manage uh, w WordPress heartbeat uh, effectively and smartly? How do we do some very basic database kind of optimization as well as complex optimization? And worth noting that it's not just one-off, but it continues to happen as we progress, as, a, as the ecosystem progress, as new, uh, new plugins or new uh, versions come in, as a life cycle uh, evolve, you need to do that on a continuous basis. You need to have a system and a process that does that over the period of time. Then very importantly, caching layer, uh, which again is like, there are several kind of like uh, uh, touch points for that, starting from the network layer where you have the CDN cache and then your, stack cache where we offer like deep down uh, varnish integration with WordPress. Then you have your database level caching that is Object Cache Pro where we, where we proudly uh, tightly integrated with OCP in the recent days uh, in the last year or so. So caching layer of course has to be, has to work pretty in sync and tightly with the, with the WordPress and all the WordPress actions and WordPress features and capabilities should work hand in hand with, with with the caching layer for the for the for the for the better user experience, and and then uh, as I said, understanding the end user experience is is very important, right? So, front end optimization basically means that, for, just for example, you need to understand web vitals, and how does that uh, number one kind of like help uh, Google, or uh, how Google sees that. And number two, how it, how it basically helps with the customer experience. So TDFB, uh, LCP, et cetera. You need to have your front end layer optimized and do all that work, minification, async, sprites, whatever, simple, medium and complex work that you need to do for a, for a seamless end user experience on the front end side. And then, as I said, as ecosystem evolve, the life cycle management needs to kick in and there has to be a pretty uh, kind of like well thought out methodical approach towards that, be it uh, your infrastructure, be it your operating system or system config system level stuff or be it your application level. So I think that these are some of the high level sort of uh, uh, aspects or components when we talk about performance to really ensure seamless end user experience. Breeze is also mentioned there, but it's kind of like uh, encapsulating some aspects of what I already mentioned, caching layer and front end optimization because the motive that we had was to make WordPress caching a breeze because it was too complex before we were using W3 total cache and it was more like a complete operating system for our customers to manage cache where they need uh, increasingly a, a more hands-off experience. So we decided to invest in our own plugin and, and, and see uh, how we can improve the customer experience. So breeze kind of like encapsulates some of the components that I mentioned. Then second is, which is again, a pretty important and deep component is security. And uh, it's, it's divided into three aspects. So detection. So if there is a problem, detect that. Uh, prevention, uh, prevent that in the first place. And then if there is something happen, uh, which things happen, how do we offer uh, kind of like platform capability to recover uh, and hence we cover detection, prevention, recovery to protect customer sites. Our recent integration with Cloudflare stepped up our capability on the application side of things. We are seeing a massive adoption and great customer experience. If you try to do it yourself, you can, but number one, it will be very costly. Number two, you will have to spend a lot of time in, in kind of like uh, understanding that and, and, uh, and fixing the integration, doing that and, and over the period of time maintaining it. 
So I think uh, on the web DDoS and side, we have done a, we have this Cloudflare partnership on the application side, which which steps up our application security. Second, uh, as we discussed in the performance as well, there is this settings part in the security, which is uh, which is as important as it is in performance, where you make sure that across all the layers you are using the best practices, not again one off, but as the ongoing basis, as you have this. Uh, as you have the, the the threat landscape changing, you make the make integrate those changing and improvements in your environment on the ongoing basis. Uh, pretty obvious. Uh, one of the one of the pretty uh, kind of like uh, obvious thing why customers suffer and why they come to us in the first place that it's pretty tedious and uh, kind of like a hassle, uh, full of hassle for them to do this continuous patching at the infrastructure level. Again, operating system level and 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 the application level over the period of time, we take care of all of that. So so kind of like all this uh, lifecycle management that I mentioned in in the performance, I think it goes hand in hand with this continuous patching and they together make sure that the system is robust, robust, hardened, and and uh, high performance. Then there are like there's a laundry list of tools and capabilities that we offer to help customers secure their environment. Uh, secure their websites and uh, secure their workflows, as well as, of course, there is there is there is a there is a cultural and team aspect of that. That as you grow, uh, I mean, you you gotta invest in your in your team and your culture to make sure that uh, make sure that uh, that that people aspect, which which generally is the most complicated aspect with security, is in check. The third the third thing that we solve for our customers is. Basically, we call it like more or less a brain of what we do. That is like proactive monitoring and intelligence. Uh, the premise here is that the issues should not happen in the first place. And if they happen, which issues happen, I mean, we are proactively informing our customers before they realize and giving them tools to kind of like uh, get to the bottom of it without uh, spending too much time. And, and the mantra that we use for that is don't let me think as soon as the issues happen before customers realize, let them know and then tell them how to fix that. Through our, of course, I mean, we have done a lot of uh, self-learning and auto-healing capabilities in, in, in the recent times and over the period of time. And uh, then there, there is a list of uh, features and capability that we offer to help them uh, nail down or, or troubleshoot the the application aspect of it. So which which script is slow? Why is it slow? Which database query is slow? Why is it slow? Uh, if if I get, want to get access to the granular logs or, or whatever, I have it all. And then if I want my integral internal systems like Asana, Semla, Jira, whatever, to be aware of all the alerts, we have a pretty tight integration with all these third party systems through through plug and play integrations as well as API integration. So we, you can like of tightly integrate your internal IT with our own, with our uh, cloud-based proactive monitoring and intelligence. So I think that's that's the first three are, I would say, are like uh, the foundational aspects of the core hosting uh, product that is performance security and, uh, and uh, monitoring and intelligence. Uh, then the, the fourth part is where, when I was telling that the website is more like a uh, uh, as a, it's like a living being, right? It evolves, it changes, it grows, it expands over the period of time. And our job is not to be a blocker in that, but a facilitator. A lot of times, uh, customers have problems uh, doing themselves because they break their sites every now and then. Th there's a life site, customer developer tried something or a marketer tried something. They end up uh, kind of like breaking the functionality or the performance, or the, so basically functional and non-functional part. And what we offer really is, and this is what we have been investing it uh, over the period of time, is WordPress aware uh, workflows. And we divide them into broadly three kind of workflows, developer workflows. So staging, cloning, uh, get migrator workflows and all that. And then agency workflows where agencies can really streamline their internal processes and be more agile, productive and be more on top of their business and drive better growth while using our agency workflows. And then third are kind of like more horizontal workflows, which we call billing workflows to help any uh, uh, sort of SMB or e-commerce or agency uh, map their kind of like use cases on top of ours when it comes to billing. So those are like three big macro 
streams within the workflows developer agency and and billing and i think we have seen that our customers who are using our developer our workflows they have uh, end up mostly in saving a lot of time and, and they have they are more agile and productive they can do rigorous experiments uh, especially in context of dynamic websites like uh, woocommerce and all uh, it, it's it's a pretty uh, useful facility to be more agile and do faster experiments. Also, since our platform is pretty open, we have a RESTful interface and all the workflows that you can use with our platform, more or less you can use that with uh, uh, with our API as well. So let's say, let's say uh, you push something or you merge something to the Git branch and then you wanna deploy through our platform, through UI, instead of doing that, you can call uh, our API in that Git hook and that our API will call exactly the same functionality and will deploy for you. A lot of agencies and e-commerce companies are using that when using our platform. And this is this is this is kind of like one of our areas to invest more uh, in the future. Then finally, uh, then the two more parts, uh, which again are pretty important, is we want to build a one. We want to uh, ensure that we are a one-stop shop for SMB cloud, and we and we want to take as many hassles and problems and worries from customers. We have built a platform. It's, which is not a point solution, is more of a, a platform where you can easily extend the functionality and use complementary services or bring more complementary services in. Some of the examples are, are, are mentioned, but broadly uh, what we are seeing uh, from our customer base, ideal customer base, they are doing a lot more than just this uh, when it comes to uh, our open platform. Then support, right? Which is a deep component of our product and offering. And uh, I think uh, our best customers think that uh, we are their world-class applications engineer, engineering team. We are their extended team to, to back their business 24 by seven without investing in that much uh, OPEX and, uh, and, and team themselves. So, so we pride in, in deep down application support and uh, making sure that for agencies and e-commerce businesses who want a more deeper kind of experiences, we have the right support layers to, to kind of facilitate them. So that's how we like this, how we uh, have a mental model or a construct for having a high performance uh, web presence for big and busy websites. Again, uh, the way we see that now. OK, I mean, there are a couple of uh, real uh, life customers, real customers that we want to pretty quickly go on. I think maybe a short time. So one of them is uh, Pangolia uh, really amazing team and uh, they have like 9 million readers a month and uh, we have partnered with them to to grow their their online uh, kind of uh, footprint and and help them grow their business they have several uh, digital assets and uh, kind of like digital uh, websites or or you could say uh, point of presences and it also includes wordpress and woocommerce and and really we are we are partnering with them to to understand their needs and and uh, be their digital partner in their growth journey really thankful of them for their trust and looking forward to continue to grow with them in the long term uh i will skip that in the interest of time the another agency uh, another one that we would like to talk about very quickly is a reaction digital a high growth agency uh very very typical pattern that we have seen. They have tried different infrastructure providers. They have tried different hosting providers, but they didn't find that hard combo of flexibility, affordability, and customer experience under one shop, right? And since they have found Cloudbase, uh, they're very happy that they are different. They have all the ingredients to make their uh, agency business successful in the long term. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we we are we are uh, uh, getting sh short on time, so I would just run through a couple of final slides. Uh, I think as we helped that agency, as I told you, that uh, we, we are an open platform and our robust API really really helps agencies integrate their workflows in our kind of like facility that we offer and improve their improve their uh, productivity and agility. Of course, uh, as we go forward, we are more and more investing in WordPress automation, uh, WordPress workflows. We, we already uh, have put safe updates in the private beta, which actually helps you uh, completely automate your plugin management and keep them automated, keep them uh, updated automatically without your without your time and investment. 
and we, we and i think it's not just the not just the just the update but we also test in the background whether this update is breaking something or or not and if it's we we think that after after running a variety of checks in the background uh, which includes also visual regression testing performance testing and increasingly functional testing as well we decide whether it makes sense or not and if it's not then we don't go forward if it is we, we just move forward and, and update it so a uh, variety of uh, capabilities that these uh, this agency is using to to empower their business now i think uh, if you want to try uh, just give it a try yourself uh, would love to have a conversation offline on uh, what do you think about your experience how we can improve and how we can continue to contribute to our our uh, community and uh, and our customers so you, you have you have the the promo code uh, would love to see you on the other side of it would love to our support our success our team would love to chat and and, and get your feedback and 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 set up set up you for your success uh with that uh i i think uh, i would like to thank you uh, sorry for the initial hiccup and uh, uh would love to take your questions <laughs>